That's right. Pay attention. First, get your food and your drink, and then we're going to go with tag knee if you need to hurry because we have many, many things to do today, okay? There are times when I feel like a prisoner in my own home, and I look sometimes at my other friends being able to go out, or sometimes they'll ask me to go out, and, and they don't even under sometimes they just don't understand that I can't. You guys don't have a chance to go out alone. We asked Denise if she could find us some help for Alina through child share. Hello. Hey, hi, Hello. Hello. How are you? This is Tracy and Anna. This is Matt and B and Michael. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Well, thank you. Welcome. Phil and Alina, because um, we know how you give to your children tirelessly, seemingly without effort, um, not giving up, and really putting yourselves always last, your needs last. Um, volunteers from Child Share would like to donate to you one night a month of respite care for your what? children for four months so that you can go out and get the rest and relaxation that you need. Thank you. Do they know my children? <laughs> so what are you going to do? I'll tell you what you're going to do. I'm going to tell you what you're going to do. Tortilla Flats are inviting you. Oh, wow. Well. Both for dinner. Oh. Well, both of us. <laughs> both, both, not just one. We have Boca de Pepe. These guys were really gracious. They're going to invite you two times. This is Long Star Steakhouse Saloon. Oh, fantastic. Wow. So that means you guys can go out, enjoy yourself, relax, don't have to worry about what's going on back here because these guys are going to take care of you. Great. Have a good time. Okay. Oh, have a good time. All right, all right. Have a, you guys have a wonderful time. Thanks, Levon, an everyday hero. Coming up, Alina's own children share their experience. It's just so neat to to see these kids come broken, and then just see them grow and grow and grow and and. Now I'm mom to them. I mean, before I was a stranger, and now I'm mom, and that's just, you know, that's so cool. <laughs> I have Marie, who I adopted from birth from the hospital. She was heroin addicted and uh, was doing really well till about 12 years old. At uh, 12 years old, she um, was diagnosed with having bipolar dis uh, disease, conduct disorder, mood disorder. And um, because of some assaultive behaviors she was displaying, she was um, placed under arrest and uh, she's in a mental uh, institution right now um, serving her sentence. Um, but we are able to have her home on weekends and uh, she's improving and we're looking forward to someday being able to have her back in, into the house um, because we, she's a really sweet girl. She just uh, has a problem. Before Alina became a foster mom, she was a biological mother to three girls. The thing about my mom, and I always say this because people ask us all the time, how does your mom do it? And my response is always, she's either got the biggest heart or she's crazy, and I think it's a little bit of both. I have um, three biological children, and um, I, I'll try to get through this without... The, if you had to ask me what I feel about the last 22 years, um, I'm proud of all my kids, but people focus on the foster kids, but their childhood has been overlooked. They had to share with this kid or that kid, and sometimes they were woken in the middle of the night to a new child being placed in their room. Sometimes they were physically harmed by these children. Not once in the past 22 years have I heard a complaint out of any of them about anything. I didn't ask them permission to do this. I imposed this on them. Did you girls sacrifice anything? Felt like you sacrificed? I don't think I've sacrificed a whole lot. Um, you know, all my friends have gone to, you know, different countries, mm -hmm. gone to different states, you know, on family vacations, cruises, 
I mean, we not only can we not afford that, but you know, it's just so hard with all of these kids. How about you, Joy? Um, looking back, I think the one thing that I wish that we had but couldn't have because of the situation was innocence. We had children come into our house that had been thrown against walls and beaten to the point of almost death and were bruised and battered and beaten and and we took them in and loved them, but it was so hard. I remember my mom always telling us is, even if it was just for one day, that may be the only love that that child will ever experience. Mm -hmm. And so we got to experience that and be that for somebody. And so I think the word sacrifice, I don't think is the right word because even if there was a sacrifice that we did, and, and there were, um, but the blessing that came from it, yeah. far outweighed anything oh, yeah. that we gave Definitely. up. Definitely. You guys are so amazing. I mean, the things that you've given up and your childhood. So I just want to do a little something for you. And I want to treat you guys. Uh, Escape Day Spa Manhattan Beach is going to have all three of you pampered because you so deserve it. Yay. You so deserve it. And, and Ma, Elena, come here for a second. <laughs> yeah. Because your mother, your mother, um, I think mom has a little, you know, a little guilt complex. We were talking about, um, they're going to a spa, by the way, and get pampered. Oh, yay. <laughs> they're going to a spa, so here you go, all three. And um, I am just so, um... touch. <sighs> By what you're doing. And, um, you know, you guys being robbed of your childhood and just the phenomenal work that you're doing that um, I want to send all three of you with a guest on a cruise. Oh, shut <laughs> up. Shut up. <laughs> and I want to do that on behalf of your mother because... That's for me. <laughs> and do this for you guys because I think you so deserve it. I really do. Thank you Thank so, you much. so much. I told you I, told you I was a crybaby. <laughs> Coming up. Um, the worst part is we only have one shower for all eight kids. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to do something to fix that. Come on over. They don't come to you happy. They don't come to you smiling. And as, as it progresses, and some it takes longer than other before those smiles come. But then when you can just look at them and they spontaneously smile at you, it's, it's amazing. So how's the um, house inside? Because I know it's a little small and you guys have a lot of people in there. How do you guys manage? <laughs> it gets kind of tough. Um, at one point we had 13, we have about nine right now, but um, there's only four bedrooms. And I guess um, the worst part is we only have one shower for all eight kids. <laughs> and one it, shower <laughs> for eight kids? For eight kids. And so... One shower. <laughs> one shower. Well, we're going to have to do something to fix that. Come on over. Hi. Hi. My name is Shala. This is Shala. My name is Shala. Hi. How are you? From Cavern Irvine. I'm very happy Hi. to uh, hear uh, what they are doing. And if if I can what? be uh, part of it, I'm more than happy. I'm going to provide the, all the material for the new show. Shower. Oh, you get a yes. shower. Yes. There you go. <laughs> Oh, she got there. My turn. <laughs> Thank you. We all heard about people talk about the power of love. Today, we've seen it in action. Love is certainly a healing force that can change lives. I want to thank Alina Strickland and her wonderful family for allowing us into their lives, and Victoria Rao for sharing her inspirational story. Please join me next time when we meet another Everyday Heroes. And remember, a better world begins with you.